What is going on, Roland Empire? Here, guys, to give you a video. Just man, look at that. Look at that. Look. It, this is a countdown to um, Godzilla versus King Kong coming out. <laughs> I just figured, let me give myself uh, the list, you know, see what I thought of the installments that leads up to this. You know, so in a sense, this is like my ranking, you know. I'm going to do one of my rankings that I like. But I'm just going to do it in my style, okay? Like, in a way, it's going to still line up what is my best, like my favorite, you know, of the franchise so far. But I'm going to start out with just talking about the first one with Garrett, Garrett Edwards. That one... I get what was going through with the mindset and the whole Jaws technique. I understand the Jaws technique. And I like that appreciation of how he treated Godzilla and all. It's just like what everything was said. Like the characters could have been better. Brian Cranston was the best part given the actor. The actor really being a good actor. He was the best part. And then a lot of it was focused with Aaron Taylor Johnson. He is, you know, could be a good actor when he can. It's just, you know, this wasn't the right thing for him at least or like this isn't the best example to showcase his acting and you know they tried the best what they could stylistically it's still good just the acting you know really could have been better um it's a uh, it's one that you know it, it's funny how the the monster verse like the monster verse could have started out at first but you know judging how it leads on from there you know you it's safe to say that you know it at least still is in good hands and now with the other two, these are really the ones that I think are the better ones, so to speak. And I get it. People have their own taste. People have their taste that no, but this is and this this is just my judgment. My judgment of how I feel about these movies. And Kong Square Island might have the most depth for me. Stylistically, it's also a really nice one with like uh, color palettes and the editing. I like it. And um I think the one that has the more tug strings here is John C. Riley with uh, John C. Riley with his situation and how he wants to get back to his family. So that's a nice little arc, yeah, nice, nice little arc kind of thing seen throughout the whole movie with this. And everybody else is just a viable. Everybody tries to have some kind of meaning within the characters, but Kong and all that, seeing him kick ass on his habitat, how it is, it just I like how it, it feels like it took um, you know, inspirations from the past films. But with this film still made it it's you know new fresh take and all and this one is it's just it feels it, it injects it injects a lot of the uh the humor the, the the humanity i guess the humanity in a way and i i like how it just it, it how it takes us through the journey how it, it takes us through from seeing the human seeing what kong is seeing how the humans deal with it. I find that very um, entertaining. I find it very fun for this kind of film. Now, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, that is kind of like an opposite of what Garrett tried to do with this one now. With this one, it shows that like Garrett had you know Godzilla and everybody hiding until like the last 20 minutes. In this one, you get it like halfway through the first act or you see everything go down. The humans still have a, you know, a case where like, you know they could be well better developed, but looking at it again, looking at it how, how I, I you know I can you know just enjoy it. You know I had I wanted to have a little bit more of a like a reminder. the The plot, the story, isn't that bad. It's it it's just the Bible where you're like you, you care enough where like if the actors, good actors, good actors that they get, you know this uh, Vera Famiga, Kyle Chandler, and all, they do the best they can what they have. And you can see that. You can see that if you under, intellect, intellectualize, at least with the filmmaking I was trying to go for. But at least with this one now, you get, you know, Godzilla just taking on all his, uh, you know, familiar foes. And it's just so intense, so cool. You know, you get, and I like how there is a little bit of a, of a team up with the, having a few characters from the last movie with this movie. And even if you, if you're aware enough with some Easter eggs, like Easter eggs and all that, of what has, the, you can see also Kong bringing in here, some characters, but I like how it's mostly a lot of the Godzilla characters. So honestly, it's like at this point, you know, if you weren't well invested, you're not going to care. I was a well invested one. I still cared by this movie. And it, it overall really just kind of makes up for it. You know, I, whether the universe was at you know built best be, built as best as it can you know it, it's you can't say that it was like 
yeah, but this universe tried more than a lot of did. At least it did build up. So now when there's going to be like a team up or a base up, it's a little bit more well earned. And um, yeah, it it's honestly comes down to those two that I'm like, maybe Kong is my favorite, but Godzilla is really fun. Kong might be the best one of the films in ranking, but Godzilla King of the Monsters finally delivers on what you know you expect for this kind of thing. So I don't think this universe is still it, it, it's on a wrong not wrong start but like is isn't like you know in trouble it has time to still save it but you know if you're gonna get a lot of the sort of similar things without kind of like you know injecting some kind of flair maybe maybe but i like how in a certain way each director has injected a flair gave finally a little bit more what you wanted and a lot of this is not bad it just could have been better honestly it could have been better so it's really it's just it needs more fine tuning and all but out of all these there's still certain things you like there's certain things you could really just enjoy of this franchise i like that they do give him a lot of um just emotional more than i think but it's still not the best it's like now it's really for me in the middle now especially seeing the last two seeing the last two very familiar uh fresh in my mind they do give enough for you to like finally do care but it's just it could be better but you know where you're here for and just seeing this how it goes down guys and um i'm curious to know now what you know what's going to be the the battle who's going to be winning they finally gave enough time to be like you you bring in that you know kong is going to still need to be developed you know kong still has more time to um to develop as a character godzilla you know he's been sort of like He's a hero, but he's been, come on, he's he's more like an, like an anti-hero. An anti-hero in the sense where it's like, you know, if the enemy enemy is my friend, I'm going to, you know, protect you and all this from my lawn. So this is going to be an uh, interesting, you know, interaction now, a face-off, you know. Let's see how this kind of, how this battle is really going to go. Just see where the humans go. Like, they have the humans serve a purpose of what, where this franchise could be, you know, going and all. So let me know, guys. As I always say, these are my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what's your least favorite. Let me know what's your favorite. You know, all of these definitely have the entertainment, the entertainment stand, whatever. They're really good flicks. Could be better. They definitely could be better. But they're really good flicks. They're really good flicks in that sense and all. And just, you know, all this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.